Hi everyone, in this video we will see the new meeting experience in Microsoft Teams. So here I am with my Microsoft Teams Honored in my desktop. So we are going to use the Microsoft's new feature called new meeting experience. The way we activate this is just going to this activity tab and under this activity tab there is a gear icon which is going to be opening my settings for the uh, Microsoft Teams. So let me click on this. Once I clicked on it, then we have a general tab. Under the general tab, if you go down, then there is a button called turn on new meeting experience. So this is the one actually which we are going to see today. So for you, if you are with the old, old version, then this would definitely would have been unchecked. So now what you have to do is you have to check down it and then you need to restart your Teams. The way we restart your team is nothing but once you check down it, then you can just click on close button over here and then you can right click on the Teams logo over here and there is a quit button here. If you are just closing the button, then it won't restart or it won't even close the Microsoft Teams completely but what we wanted to do is we want to completely restart the Microsoft Teams. So what the way we do is you just in the taskbar right click your uh, Microsoft Teams logo and you get the quit option here. So you just click on quit and then reopen the Microsoft Teams so that the new editing experience will be open for you. Right now I have already done all of them so I'm going to directly jump into my team and then exploring the new meeting experience for you. So let me have let me go to the test team over here. The first thing which we have to see in the new meeting experience is the meeting window has been now is been separated out of the Microsoft Teams and kept as a new browser window. Let me go ahead and start a new meeting here. Just I'll click on the meet now, and that's my week view over here. And I'm going to switch off my camera. And click on join now. And also, in the switch off my micros, uh, mic as well. So you can see that the team window it is actually giving a new tab. Look at this. Earlier it was inside the Microsoft team itself, the meeting window. Now it has a different window, and this another has a different window. If I want you to show it here, then I would show you in a, just put it in this side and this is in this side. So whatever happens for the meeting is right now, now it is in the new window. So this is a new update from the Microsoft Teams. And also what I have right now here is, you have many options, whichever was there in the middle of the uh, Microsoft Team, now everything has been went on top of it. So that was slightly annoying feature in the old version that every time what we have to do is we have to hover over the screen to get those meeting options. But right now what's happening here is it's already by default it has been set on the top of it. But all the icons and all the functionalities are exactly same as that of what we have right now, what we had in the, feature with the previous version. And in the new uh, updated version, then these three are kept in the right corner and there is, uh, there is a leave button has been kept over here uh, with just not just only the hanging button was there in the earlier version and there is an end meeting button has been kept under this uh, under this uh, down arrow mark you just click on the under the loud arrow mark and click on the end meeting to end the meeting from everyone else right and also you could see that the manage permission has been kept over here and then the download attendance list also has been kept over here for anybody who's over here if you're not able to see any one of them then you must contact your admin where they have the eligibility to make yourself eligible for downloading the attendance seat if you if you are an organizer Okay, so that's all about this. And further, what the new meeting experience has given you is two different extra layout options. One is called Together Mode and another one is called Large Gallery Mode. Anyway, right now I have a very less number of, in fact, I have nobody here in my meeting to show you both of them. But I have some Snapchat which I have taken it from the uh, my classes uh, so that I can share it with you. 
So the, the way I get it, the large gallery mode where we can accommodate 49 students or 49 participants in a single gallery or single view. So that is called large gallery mode. So how do I go to that? Once the people, once the 49 people have joined in your meeting, it means that once the 49 people have switched on their video, then what you can have here is you can click on these three dots over here and see there is an option called large gallery. Right now it has been grayed out, which means that I don't have enough people to use this uh, uh, feature. Another one is called as the together mode. Again, that needs at least 10 people. Uh, I think at least two people. So to activate this together mode. So you can activate this together mode and keep the people over here. So what is this together mode is going to do here is, I have a picture over here. You can see it right now here. So the together mode is going to keep all your participants in a particular hall in a way that everybody is being seated in a particular place. It's going to take their images and then put it in a particular state. So this is very useful for the teachers who are handing them classes or something. Therefore, the teacher can see the class in a, uh, so that everybody is sitting in a particular place. So you can see that these are the couple of pictures which I have taken in the together mode. So this is requiring a new meeting experience. So I have taken some pre snaps from the large classes. You can see that how it works. And then the like second one is the large gallery mode, which I have explained. The way we activate that is nothing but just go to the three dots over here on the top and then click on the large gallery mode. So now that is going to give you a mode, something similar to this. So now you can see that there are already 16 people are being placed here, but it, it does place until 49 people. And uh, when by the time I conducted the class, only 16 people were uh, presented over here in the middle actually right now I am here. So it puts you also in a particular place. So in this way, you can see all of your class, uh, students as well in the class. So I think that's all about the new meeting experience. And thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.